The next built-in piece of functionality we'll cover is web browsing. So web browsing is enabled by default. If I turn it off, we won't be able to browse the web, uh, but let's build an example GPT that does need to browse the web. How about something that aggregates news stories? Maybe gives me a little morning update on, um, let's not do politics or anything too depressing, like global wars and conflicts. How about news around, uh, how about just good news? Let's do that. So generate a GPT that can retrieve happy or positive news stories by browsing the web and summarizing these stories. So of course I could type this out myself and do the instructions, but I'm just gonna let the GPT builder do it for me. The point here is just to show that we can browse the web. It's no different than browsing the, re the web with plain old chat GPT. We'll call it happy news finder, sure. Okay, so it's gonna ask me to you know, uh, approve the profile picture and all of that. We'll just skip that. Let's try going with one of the conversation starters. Oof, not a good profile picture. <laughs> Share something uplifting from the world of sports. So I'm gonna click that and immediately we see doing research, searching with Bing. Of course, I can click to see the exact search that it did, uplifting sports news, and it says in an uplifting episode of, I guess, a podcast called, called The Positive Truth, stories were shared about people who overcame adversity, right? We can see information here, the actual podcast episode. That's okay. If I'm being honest, I'm not really thrilled with that result. Um, it's not much of a news story, but it's kind of a terrible set of instructions. I just wanted to show you that, you know, we can browse the web. And if I turn that off, right, let's do share something uplifting from the world of sports. It doesn't do any searching. Now it's just relying on its training data and recalling something. Let's see, 17 year old Sarah Gilbert won national high school cross country championship. Let's see uh, when that actually happened. Well, I can't find any trace of this story on the internet. It very well might just be a complete hallucination or uh, an amalgam of different news stories. Either way, it is not recent, right? It has nothing to do with browsing the web because I turned that off. It's enabled by default, but if you don't want to allow your custom GPT to browse the web, just like if you want to disallow image generation, you can toggle that off. Okay, pretty basic stuff. Mm -hmm.